So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about rapper Travis Scott being outed by his alleged side chick or main chick or just a chick who is tied to him for cheating on his girlfriend and baby mother, Kylie Jenner. So the woman in question, her name is Rogine Carr. She goes by Young Sweet Row on Instagram and she has a little under 500,000 followers. The only reason why I point that out is because before this mini scandal, the girl had like a little under 300,000. So it's just crazy how drama, controversy, and messiness can just catapult somebody higher than any other ethical thing. So Young Sweet Ro decided to post a behind the scenes clip to her Instagram story in which she joked about directing a, I'm assuming, music video. This post just so happened to make the shade room and people immediately ran with the cheating allegations and basically calling out Travis Scott for not being faithful to the mother of his two children. Now let's keep it a bean and a half. I've been been seen allegations of him cheating. Not only that, but allegations of cheating with this specific girl. Like, this is nothing new. People in other tea and commentary channels have been alluding to the fact that Young Sweet Row has been in the picture for years. And not only does she have proof of that, but the internet does as well. Shout out to the channel Sloan. I got most of my clips for this video from his video on this topic. And I've been watching him for a while. I like his take on pop culture and I do love his content. So Young Sweet Row was being called out for being a side chick for posting this and because it got a lot of attention Travis Scott made a post to clarify he says it's a lot of weird ish going on an uninvited person was sneaking photos of what was supposed to be a closed set while I was directing a video I'm saying this for the last time I don't know this person I've never been with this person so please stop with the continuous cyber games and the fictional storytelling um, bye Travis. You mean to tell me a random groupie just so happened to enter a set of a video where a multi-millionaire and platinum selling rapper is and no security guard stopped her and she wasn't arrested for trespassing on this closed set? Is that how sloppy your security is or is that how sloppy you are? Let's be real about this, man, okay? So Young Sweet Row was being called out for being a side chick, like I said, and she subsequently decided to finally speak out. This is what she had to say. Okay, so what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna lie on me because I've been good. I posted whatever story you guys wanted me to post. I pretended I didn't know you, went along with whatever narrative you guys wanted to, no matter how much, like, I got from it but to say you don't know me and you've never been with me when you've definitely been with me, everybody's seen you with me when i have pictures and videos of you with me come on come on sir i like you Valentine's day i saw you i ran out the door and you had every single girl i know blowing me up like trav's asking for you come back are we pretending that didn't happen too like come on you cheat on that every single night the whole city sees it don't do this and i was invited to that video shoot you guys i would not go i personally do not go anywhere unless i'm invited there Honestly, I don't know what it is with girls that are so influenced by the Kardashians and the Jenners or just girls who are from Cali. They love to speak and be sharp and F flat. Like the vocal fry is just so crazy. I don't know if that's supposed to be an accent or if it's forced or what, but it just never sounds comfortable. So I'm trying to decipher if Travis Scott is delusional or if he has cascaded into the sunken place and is waiting on someone to tap their cup of tea for him to wake up. I don't want to wake up. I want you spread out on the sheets. Said her pussy so good and her pussy so sweet. <laughs> Y'all, I really do think I'm funny. You know, do y'all think I'm funny? Because I think I'm funny. But for real, no pun intended. It just seems like Travis Scott is really sleeping in a sunken place because clearly he is so warped up in this charade of cheating, lying, and trying to save face. So his girlfriend and baby mama Kylie Jenner has yet to say anything, even though it seems that him speaking out was more influenced by Kylie because where was this energy for the victims on the Astro World Festival? Like, come on. Anyway, I personally think that there is some interesting components of this entire situation that I want to discuss. So I've broken this video down into two overall main talking points. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So point number one is Kylie Jenner is no better than a lot of young women. So the main thing I think is intriguing is that Kylie Jenner is so silent about this. And although we never really hear much from Kylie Jenner anymore, I think it's still very telling. This video is not going to be me breaking down how far back Young Sweet Row and Travis Scott go because a simple Google search and watching some other commentary channels, like I said before, Sloan has some good videos on this, will show that Travis Scott obviously knows this girl. They've been friends or I'm a 
pursuing friends with benefits for like over 10 years and she was there when the man was broke. She even posted these screenshots. So Rose says, okay, I'll post now. Travis says, stop spreading lies and rumors about her and me because it's affecting people's real life and Kylie. Ro comes back and says, I don't want to put her name in it because it'll make it a bigger deal. He says, clarify. Then subsequently, Ro clarifies by posting this publicly and saying, none of these rumors are true. It's just the internet creating a false narrative. Please stop spreading lies and leave us alone because it's affecting real lives. Thank you. Then she captioned this overall screenshot by saying, laughing face, laughing face, laughing face. Don't know me, but had me driving you around when you didn't have a car. So clearly this melon head naker is lying and young sweet Ro is being truthful when she says he does know her, she's been around, and most importantly, she has always agreed to go by and promote whatever narrative Travis, Kylie, and the rest of the Kardashian Jenners told her to go with. This family is so obsessed with maintaining a perfect image and it's really sick because what's the point? But I'll get to that later. So I say that Kylie Jenner is no better than a lot of young women because there seems to be this reoccurring idea of girls who let their man cheat. And it's usually not even the average girls, it's the girls in the limelight, and specifically these girls who date famous and well-known men. The rapper girlfriends in particular love to let their men cheat and then act shocked and oblivious when the world finds out. Kylie Jenner is no exception. Jada Chivez, little baby's ex-girlfriend and baby mother, is also no exception. And even some of these old school hip-hop people are no exception. It's almost Almost like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich combination where the young, hot, desirable it girl who dates the rapper and the rapper who has millions of fans and hit songs and a litter of women to pick from just go together. And they go together because they are receiving what they want out of the situation. The woman, in this case Kylie, gets the aesthetic of dating a well-known rapper and having these biracial children and tap dancing in black culture. And the rapper, in this case Travis Scott, gets one of the most desired women in the world, that is very subjective, has babies by her to keep her permanently attached to him and also gets to mess around with other women. This is a very sick and demented dual benefit and it's almost like a harmonious tune to a lot of young women. I'm 25 and I work with women between the ages of 18 and 30 through my modeling agency that I run and you'd be surprised what I have heard. A lot of girls who have low self-esteem find themselves yearning for attention and skewed love because this is definitely not love. So they accept this low-hanging fruit of allowing their men to cheat. I did a video on this like a year or two ago Ago. It's called Cheating Respectfully. This was after Megan from Bad Girls Club Season 9, and I think she was on Basketball Lives as well, stated that she thinks it's okay to allow her man to cheat respectfully. And Kylie Jenner is not exempt from this mindset just because she is Kylie Jenner. I'll be real enough to say that I've done this dumbass shit in the past, and that's why I'm able to talk about it this way, because I know from firsthand experience that it really is unfortunately more common than people want to admit, and that young women want to admit. So small story time, I used to date this athlete in college, and you know, I just got caught up in the aesthetic and being a campus it girl and having the attractive athlete tied to me. And there's so much more to the story, but I would find out about stuff directly from certain girls who he messed with. And for the most part, they weren't even messing with him when I was messing with him. They were messing with him beforehand or whenever we were on a break. It's still bad, but just saying. And although I would get mad and snap and block him and all of that, my low self-esteem at the time would have me overlook it because I stupidly thought that it was just what came with being with someone who was known and desired. There is so much more I want to tell y'all that I've dealt with or been through because if y'all knew, then it would make people never call me a hater or not in support of women because everything I talk about, I've done, been through, experienced a part of it, or just had a firsthand encounter to it. But enough about me. Y'all can read all about some of that stuff in my upcoming book. But this notion exists in Kylie and the only difference is that she always remains quiet about her malarkey with Travis. Unlike her sister Chloe, she kind of keeps this stuff pretty private. Kylie doesn't blast anybody. She doesn't go on rants. She doesn't make all of these random posts. She doesn't necessarily make it a big deal. And that's part of the problem. I'm not saying she needs to expose herself, but because it seems to be no consequence for Travis, he continues to do it. He plays in her face. He's sloppy with his actions and he has his way, period. Kylie, to me, is complacent because I don't think she has a high level of self-esteem. At the age of 25, she has two kids by a man who hasn't married her, probably won't marry her, and continues to cheat. She has a ton of surgical work done to herself, especially her face, and 
and she doesn't seem to be relatable to the average young person. I mean, Kylie Jenner is three weeks younger than me, and she doesn't appeal that way because she's allowed all of these aspects that come with fame that are artificial and superficial to conduct her whole entire life. And it's sad. However, this is a choice at this point. She is not a victim. Like imagine this girl has more money, fame and tenure than Travis Scott, but not enough self-esteem to leave him and not accept this disrespect. And I've been there not even two years ago. And at some point you got to wake up. No pun intended. Now, point number two is the Cargenners think they're so untouchable. The Cargenners seem to think because they are so known and so rich that it absolves them of being cheated on. And I think it's valuable to point out that their obsession with black men has caused a lot of their downfall. I think the Cargenners would have more respect, and I use that word loosely, if they weren't so gung-ho on being black men's preference. And people love to say that black women who speak on this topic are jealous and bitter and mad that they're ugly and undesirable and that's cool but be real the same black men who make black women single mothers the same black men who cheat on black women and the same black men who create broken households are the same black men doing the same exact thing to their so-called preferences which in this case are the car jenners every single one of them are baby mamas people love to say that kim was married to kanye before she had kids and that is a lie northwest their daughter was in kim and kanye's wedding i don't know why people choose to forget this when it was literally on their tv show but i think the car jenners really thought that that they were untouchable and that because they are white or even hate to say it mixed fishers so sometimes they look biracial and because they have real hair and aren't aggressive and don't speak any bonics that they would be able to have a black man who values them worships them is faithful to them and gives them this happily ever after fairy tale that they want and that's Horseshit. Literally bullshit. And that's where they played themselves. Black men watching, if this doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you. Don't get in the comments crying if you're not this type of black man. The Cargenders are literally examples that it doesn't matter what the woman looks like or how much money and fame and success she has. A man is going to do what a man is going to do. And it's crazy because I think Kanye West and multiple other black men who are famous did push this narrative that black women were not it and that white women, biracial women, and women who passed the paper back test were better and most desired. And if that's what they want to believe, so be it. But unfortunately, those same black men didn't make themselves better for the women who they promoted as better. They remain the same low vibrational plates who cheat, lie, and have their way. And the Cargenners, in addition to women who fit this quote-unquote preference, have realized that there's nothing your pretty pink pulsing, piping hot punishing, put it on a pedestal pussy can do. None of us can really do anything and that is the revelation of the decade. The Cargenners are not untouchable to cheating and ain't shit nakers. If anything, it seems like they get played more than the average woman. Their stock has diminished over the past like two to five years. And it's so interesting to see after years of watching them run through certain black men. I really didn't even want to make this about race, but there are several interviews where Chloe and Kim in particular have admitted to only liking black guys. And I think their actions have shown that they thought that they were better than black women. And that's not the case. A man of any race is going to do whatever a man is going to do. All of these women, particularly the Car Jenners, are more easily fuckable and lustable but definitely not untouchable wake up so that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below what do you think what do you know let me know if you haven't already go stream my song ballin it is out on all platforms and follow me on all of my social media networks and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all Come on, one time for the melanin girls can pop it in the sun. Let me hear you one time. Baby, let me hear you one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. One time for the African girls, and you know we get it done. Let me hear you one time. Ladies, let me hear you one time. Yeah, yeah. One shot, two shot, come on, baby, come on. Put your hands to the top, come on, ladies, come on. Can't pop it in the sun, come on, baby, come on. Brown girl, you the one, and they know we get on. One shot, two shot, come on, baby, come on. Put your hands to the top, come on, ladies, come on. Can't pop it in the sun, come on, baby, come on. Brown girl.